Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'm going to explain something fundamental about projectors, which is throw ratio. So what you're seeing is 135 inch projected image from Optoma UHD 35 4K projector. And this is LG 816 QNET 65 inch TV. Look of the size difference, but that's not the topic of this video. I'm going to teach you in a couple of minutes how easy to understand what kind of a screen size that you can achieve from how much of a distance with your projector or potentially your dream or purchase of your projector. If you want to buy a projector for a certain amount of screen size, you need to know the throw ratio. I made a dedicated video about how you calculate the throw ratio and screen size. And I, I showed with the screen capture how you can use the projector central website. But not every projector is in that projector central website. So if you can Google your projector model and give it a space and write projector central, if you can find your projector, that's easy. Go there and calculate the tro uh, throwing ratio calculations. Use the slider, use the zoom settings of your projector. Voila! You can achieve the screen size that you want to know and you can lock the screen size and do all those things. And I explain that in another video. In this video, I'm going to teach two things. First thing, you need to know the throw ratio of your projector. There is a number like 1.2 to 1 throw ratio or 2.0 to 1 throw ratio. What are those number means? That's the most important part because you can calculate. You need to know the width of your screen. That's the stuff. You need to know the width of your screen and then multiply it with the throw ratio that you got. Let me just give you an example. The numbers will be on the screen. If you got 1.2 to 1 throw ratio, and if you got 3 meter length screen like this, this is a 135 inch, and all you have to do is 3 meter length with, multiply it with 1.2 throw ratio. Then you got yourself a 3.6 meter distance. And if you have zoom, like maybe 2x, you have to multiply the 2x so that means how far your projector can go. This is the shortest row. And if you multiply it with 2x zoom, if you zoom all the way in, then you have to go again, multiply 3.6 to 2 times, and you get yourself a 7.2 meters. So you can place your projector either back, 7 plus 7.2, or you can place it, let's just say 3.6 on the ceiling or whatever. So basically, if you have 2.0 to 1 throw ratio and 3 meters screen again, so 3 times 2 makes it 6 meter. And if you have zoom, you have to multiply again. In this part of the video, I want to explain it as fast as I can. So this is the projector central. Even if you don't find your projector, that will be a good example for you. Projector central, this is Epson TW650. And we know the throw radio of it on their website. And as you can see, you can lock the screen size. You can write whatever you want, like 120 inch, 135. In this case, 135 inch is the size that I use in this video. So for this, with the throw ratio, you can clearly see with the widest settings, we got 3.05. And the telephoto settings, we got 3.67. So if you zoom in and out, you see the difference. That's how it is. So how we can check that? We can check this thing, EHDW650 on their website. When you go to the optical settings, you got your throw ratio 1.02 and 1.23. How we calculate it is you go to the calculator, you write down 1.02, and we know the width of our screen, 3, and that means we got 3.6. And at the top, at the max, 1.23, let's do it again, 1.23 times 3, 3 meters, 69 centimeters. And everything seems pretty much sync with the projector central. So if you don't find yourself projector here, you go to your website of your manufacturer and find the throw ratio and multiply with your screen width and voila, you're good to go. So that's how basic it is. So how are you going to find that throw ratio number? 80 to 90% of projector uh, manufacturers, if it's not less than $100, inch, $100 very cheap projector, they tend to write that down because it's making everything easy for the purchaser, like potential customer. So if you Google the projector model, 
you will probably reach out their website and you can in the description probably find that number but if you can't just google a little bit deeper and look for the user manual and probably 90 plus somewhat of a percentage you will find the throwing ratio number on that user manual pdf file and you can easily calculate that reason that i'm teaching you this because this is the most important fundamental probably reason that you buy the projector you want to achieve some sort of a screen size everybody asked this question and i made a video but right now i'm going to make it even simpler because in that video i teached you and you can also you have to look that video too because i show the projector central website and how you should be using it i i've teach that but now i'm showing you even basic more basic method you have to know the screen width but how are you going to understand the screen width because not everybody is expert so P tvs are sold like a 65 inch 75 inch and one let's just say 98 inch this is a 135 inch image inch size always goes diagonal from right top okay left bottom or vice versa so this is diagonal so you have to know the width is not diagonal so how are you going to find that out that's also easy you google screen size calculator and what you'll find is the website in the description below screen uh, slash or a line size dot info that website is quite easy you see your screen size uh, like a 16 uh, to 9 ratio or 4.4 uh, 4 to 3 ratio if you have a different projector and you go below to calculate section so you write your diagonal value as an inch or centimeter it doesn't matter so you write down diagonal and you get yourself the height and the width value easily once you got your width value you just have to multiply it with the throwing ratio that you got and if you have a zoom additional zoom you can multiply it with the zoom so you know when you zoom all the way in how far you can go or when you zoom out all the way out how close that you can get your projector to the screen or a wall that you want to achieve this uh, for the size that you want to achieve i believe i've probably teached enough information in this video if you learn anything just give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up, try to give a thumbs up and try to subscribe to the channel for more content because I teach probably everything about screens, projectors, TVs, how you choose basically. And if you want to learn more, ask questions. Those questions become like tutorials for me, for the channel, also for you guys. So uh, throw ratio is also important for short throw and ultra short throw projectors because for ultra short throw projectors i made a lot of dedicated videos it's going to be a decision point of is it going to be enough on your tv unit or you have to put it on a ground or a separate unit because the with with the projector and the screen distance and ultra short throw devices are kind of like big and thick and heavy so you need to know exact placement so it's most of the time important it's not like a tv you mount it on a wall you put it on its legs and tv is done but the projectors you have to have a placement you have to have a limitation of your room limitation of your screen size you have to know all these things in advance otherwise you're not going to be achieving the best result so let me know what you think at the comment section below and if you want shorter videos some like pill style informational videos like this just ask me questions hope to see you in the next video until the next video or check out